this video is not about this but this ladies and gentlemen is the future of car future of transportation the volvo xc40 recharge electric electric is the word because in future everything will be electric like in my hand i have the phantom v4 from techno and this is another fold but you see the way folds are coming up from oppo from samsung from vivo fold quite essentially is going to be the future and what we're going to do is discuss the future and before we go to the studio let's take some camera sample testing of this with this and i also have the samsung s23 ultra which is the flagship camera smartphone available today and let's see how they both compare no we are not discussing the future who knows the future whether it's electric whether it's carbon fuels whether it's hydrogen we don't know right same with the foldable phones whether it's foldable phones like the techno phantom v fold or there are going to be screens impaneled or implanted in our hands and our wrists let's not get there but currently these two are touted as the futuristic things in cars is going to be electric and the smartphones is going to be fold and this is where this techno v fold really is a very interesting proposition because the samsung z fold 4 is for 1 lakh 60000 plus minus cash backs you might get for 1 lakh 45000 but that's a lot of money and then you have the oppo flip that's for 90000 the flip why would you pay 90000 for an oppo flip which doesn't even do 30% of the job when you can get techno v fold proper a full phone with that much screen size for that much price and this actually looks good but this is the first impression i've not really lived with it for a long time which i'll be doing it for the course of time so stay tuned to know how it actually acts in the days ahead but this material looks to be sustainable i'm not sure now only thing which i didn't like before we move ahead in this smartphone is that you cannot do this yes that's the problem in the Samsung, you can actually do it like this. You can actually use it like a keyboard. You can still write. But it won't be done. This is the biggest problem. And that's my biggest shikayat to the techno guys. But I understand they have to get in a price point And the screen doesn't have a crease. For the same reason. Because if you, have a, if you want to get this to rest, you need to have a hinge mechanism where there will be some marginal crease that you see. Though in Samsung, it's not there. But then you're paying 2x the price so when you look at the price comparison this one doesn't definitely makes a sense what i love about this smartphone is definitely this the front fascia without opening the fold this actually acts like a proper smartphone let me give you things in perspective if you put the samsung s23 ultra it's a very wider screen now if you put the z fold which currently one of my colleague is using that bezel is less so it's not really good for typing but in this Without opening it, you can get away with most of the stuff. I've written long mails on that and it really goes very, very well with that. Another thing which I didn't like, like about this smartphone is that this is not really, the apps are not really monetized for this. So when you open, there's these side bezels which are left because this is not optimized for the entire screen space, which is a new form factor rather. So what is the actual use of this kind of a shape? Let me tell you very things in perspective. I'm a big reader of magazines and newspapers because we have exhibit in Top Gear. So now when you go to Maxter or any app and you want to read a magazine, the way it will come across is this. So you don't get it completely in a shape and size that you would like. So this doesn't leave a very good taste because this thing looks, looks like something has been left for the aftermarket, for the, not the aftermarket, for the OT update which should come and probably fix this but because this is very important because this doesn't give you that experience otherwise you have such a big screen space real estate but you're not using it that's a problem now when you watch videos something similar for example let's watch the so in this also when you rotate the screen you will be left with this screen so when you moment you zoom in and how is cropped up the same problem you have on the z fold also so that's something that you have to live with because it gives you a cinematic experience but it doesn't really give you the whole use of this so in case you're wondering if you want to watch this as a video then the screen size screen size that you get will be something similar to what you are going to get 
on a regular smartphone with this much screen space. That's point number two. The camera quality is very good. We have tested this along with this and the samples are here for you to see. So you saw it for yourself how it is now what else to talk about now in terms of weight this is not a very heavy spot for you see if i'm weighing in my hand it is something that i can live with every day the camera is good quality and this really pops out so this sense of gives you a premiumness now techno is not really targeted to a very premium smartphone but with this they have really pushed the envelope because this looks definitely very premium you, look, you see the feel of the whole uh, finish from the back also is reeks of very premiumness which is very good good job techno on that and the branding of phantom is out very subtly done uh, surprisingly there's no techno mentioned anywhere is it for obvious reasons well i leave that for you to decide sound quality on the speaker is very nice you can see it for yourself so this is how the music i'm putting the microphone close to this so this is quite legit sound speakers in terms of performance and specs, let's go through the numbers, let's go through the rituals. Here are they. The Phantom V Fold 5G comes with a powerful set of specifications, ultra fast computing capabilities. And this is basically a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus chipset, which is quite powerful. And this also powers everything thrown at the device. But hang on, there is a very interesting thing on this. The 12 gig of RAM can be further expanded by 9 GB more which is making it 21 GB of onboard RAM memory which is colossal I really want to see how this performs in gaming but that will get to on a later week okay let's talk about the cameras total of five cameras patch patch camera has kinder yes so now the main camera is the 50 MP lens coupled with a 50 MP telephoto camera and a 13 MP ultra wide angle camera the camera setup is furthermore with a 16 mp main screen front camera and a 32 mp secondary front screen camera so for selfies you have two options you have two cameras in the front and for selfie you also have a very interesting system for example if i want to take a selfie just like a tablet i can actually uh, do this where i can see myself so you can even see my videographer devesh who's trying to duck behind the camera so this is how it shows so when you're taking a phone you can use the front camera which is a 50 MP camera and take a nice selfie like that you know let's talk about the screens there's a 6.42 inch display 42 okay it's not 4344 we haven't really measured it but they should be right but the moment you flip it open this becomes 7.85 inch screen 1100 nits of display which is pretty bright and pretty good that's something that you have to give it it there's no sense of any iso moment it looks premium from every angle right from the hinge design it's very very aluminium finish looks very premium to hold the hinge also is actually quite very interesting because it's creaseless they really worked very very nicely to get this out in the market in a very good way and whatever time i've used it there was no sense of lag you know now the refresh rate is 120 hertz they could have given 144 hertz that would have made the experience even more faster because now come on you're, you're dealing with a 7.85 inch screen but you know everything you don't get and everything if you want and you have to pay that kind of a price now when you compare this with oppo flip phone this is 1000 times better i would always suggest unless you want that form factor with that size which can be tucked smartly in your pocket this has much more functions for reading for writing for typing it out if you have big fingers like mine and this really makes for a sense fold phones have a unique proposition you know when you're going for a presentation when you're going for a sales pitch you can actually just flip this open and show them the ppt it's much better to do you sometimes you can actually do away with your laptop and an ipad this is a very interesting shape and size 
which can really give iPads a run for their money. Now having said that, we are also going to be reviewing the OnePlus pad on the next video which is coming up. And under the next one, you take care, stay subscribed if you haven't, please like, share and subscribe. Drop as many comments because comments are free and comments encourage us to do the next video much better. We'd love to hear from you and see you in the next one.